Hi, this is Sahana. In our today's session, we are going to learn transactions in Entity Framework Core. In the context of databases, a transaction is a sequence of one or more operations that are executed as a single unit of work. Let's understand this with an example. In our application, we have five different entities, employee, employee details, employee project, manager, and project. Let's say we want to perform two different operations. One is to update employee details. Second operation is to update manager details for that employee. And we want to carry out this as a single transaction. In case of transactions, if all of the operations are successful, then transaction is committed. Else, transaction is rolled back. To work with transactions in Entity Framework Core, we can use dbcontext.database API to begin, commit, and roll back transactions. We have to follow three important steps to implement transaction. First step is to begin a transaction. Next, we have to perform database operations within the transaction. Next, we have to commit or roll back the transaction. Let's see how to implement these steps with an example. We are going to consider same example. We are going to perform these two operations and we are going to learn how to implement transaction. Here we are creating instance of AppDB context. This is our DB context. First step is to begin transaction. To begin transaction, we have to use database property of DB context class and then call begin transaction method. Our second step is to perform database operations within the transaction. Here is my code which will perform database operations. Here I am retrieving employee and employee details to update. Then if employee to update and employee details to update are not null, then I am updating the details and I'm saving changes. If I get any exception, I'm throwing exception. Our last step is to commit or roll back the transaction. Within this if section, I will add a try catch block. I'll perform these operations inside try block. Now, if everything goes well, then I will commit a transaction. If something goes wrong, then I will roll back a transaction. We have to call roll back. That's it. This is how we can manually implement transaction. Here is an important information from MSDN. This says, by default, if the database provider supports transactions, all changes in a single call to save changes are applied in a transaction. In our case, we are using SQL Server as our database, which is a relational database and it supports transaction. So whatever we have seen in our example, even if we don't create transaction manually, everything happens as a transaction. Entity Framework Core considers this as a transaction and we don't have to write it explicitly. And even it says for most applications, this default behavior is sufficient and we should only manually control transactions if our application needs it. This is how we can implement transaction using three simple steps using three simple steps. First step is to begin a transaction, then perform database operations inside the transaction, then commit a transaction or roll back a transaction. That's it for today's session. I hope the session was useful. Thanks for your time. See you soon in the next video. Thank you.